I have been asked to show how I duplicated this uh, layout with some unpitched speech rhythms and some various body percussion down here. So I'm just going to create a new project uh, and I'm going to make it empty for now. The players that I'm going to add are two players, but one of those players is going to be holding four instruments. So. I'm going to add a single player. I'm just going to use snare drums for unpitched percussion because, I don't know, it works. Uh, I use Shift P to keep adding another player. Uh, I'm going to add another snare drum here. So we've now got two snare drums. For this second snare drum player, I'm going to just keep uh, giving this player more snare drums for reasons that will become apparent. See, now, now he's holding... He or she is holding two snare drums. I'm going to make it, in the end, four snare drums. I'm pressing shift, oh, sorry. Just get rid of that. And delete player. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep pressing this plus to add snare drums to this particular player. So now this player happens to be holding four snare drums. Uh, and what we want to do is right click on that player and say combine instruments into kit. Um, I'm going to put these onto a grid. There's various ways of displaying this percussion kit. I want them on a grid to duplicate what we see in this in this picture here. Um, and for each one of these instruments, I'm going to edit the names. They don't want to all be snare drums. Uh, I'm just going to throw this onto another monitor so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, this first one is uh, called Snap. And the short name is S. Uh, and then this one here, the long name is Tap Chest L. And the short name is T Ch L. And going to keep going down here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tap Chest R. And this last one is a clap. <laughs> this editor can be a bit finicky, so uh, I always just drag select the whole thing to replace it. CL. Okay. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to make them all crosses. Uh, so uh, by selecting this instrument and saying edit percussion playing techniques, this enables you to set what note head applies to normal notes. And on our uh, picture here, we've got all cross note heads. So I'm going to set all of these to crosses by choosing a note head set and saying X note heads for each one of these instruments. Obviously, you could choose different note heads for each instrument if you wanted to. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. Uh, now I'll just deal with this one here. Uh, because this player is holding only one instrument, uh, we edit the names here like this, just pressing these three dots and saying edit names. And this one is called speech. And down here says SP. So I think that should get us into a score that looks more or less right. So let's just enter the notes. We've got a meter that's 4-4 four, four with a half beat upbeat. And we're just going to enter. Um, to enter notes into an unpitched staff, you can use your normal rhythm um, controls. Uh, so I'm pressing 5 here for a eighth note or a quaver. Um, and then to enter the notes, you can press any note name. I'm using G. Uh, I haven't done note heads for this one. That's okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to keep adding in. Oops. Mm -mm. Okay, that's all I can see for the moment. Uh, and then down here in the grid, um, when you enter notes, you can use up and down to choose what instrument you're adding them to. And then um, 
again, just press a, a letter name, or well, press a duration and then a letter name to add a note to that. Uh, um. Oops, yeah, um, that's all I can see. Okay, uh, then lyrics, I'm just going to shift L and type these in, the seasons, the seasons, or the coal was in the, oops. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In the, okay, uh, now I'll just sort out these note heads for the speech, so uh, edit percussion playing techniques, and note head set, cross note heads. I should sort those out. Uh, now in our original part, everything is stems up. Uh, don't know if they need to be, but let's change them. So I'm gonna select uh, every all the notes in our selection here. Uh, right click, stem, force, stem up. And that should take all of our stems up. And I think that's sort of more or less duplicated what we have here. It's probably worth reading up on the manual in percussion kits and percussion grids uh, if you do this stuff a lot. Obviously you could save this as a template if you want to use this particular layout a lot. It may also be worth creating an instrument for each of these body percussion things in the instrument editor. Uh, that would let you just add the instrument and things like the names and the note heads would already be intact. You wouldn't have to go and edit them like I just did. Hope that helps.